All right, hello YouTube and the boxing community. Uh, for those of you whom it won't be many because we are so shadow banned up in here, it ain't funny. Why are you shadow banned up in here? We're shadow banned up in here because we are constantly, constantly truth telling. In, in boxing in general, the world in general, and everything that comes our way. That's why. It, if you ain't, you ain't speaking up enough. But there's gonna be a few more channels that are gonna be a little shadow band here in the recent future. And I'm gonna tell you why. Uh, on, on our YouTube, we, we have more Afri African-American boxing channels that we are subscribed to than we do white channels that we're subscribed to or Latino channels that we are subscribed to. Now, we're going on the second day of full finish day of this filthy opening in the Olympics. I've seen more white channels whom we are less subscribed to, but I've seen more of those channels come through in my alerts uh, speaking against this crap than anybody. You know what crap I'm talking about. The tranny, the God-hating, the Last Supper with Christ as a 300-pound tranny woman, and all of that. Uh, if you don't know, you need to crawl out from under the fucking rock you've been under and open your eyes and look around you because you're a dumbass. You don't know what I'm talking about with that. And you in boxing, you are lunatic, you idiot, ignorant. I've seen some of the most in your face defense of our King, and Christ is the King, coming from Latino channels. Punching, uh, punch drunk boxing is really in the forefront of that. He actually put a video out, sat down, and read the same scripture that I read uh, read out to you two months ago. Uh, and I don't think he really watches this channel. I think he just got the same thought processes. And I think this was just enough to push him over the edge. He, he's now doing what I was doing a month ago, which was calling all these woke bullshit athletes out. And now we got something we can really point to and we can say, what the hell? And the thing is, and we're all saying it, that is against that sick mentally ill, demented, evil stuff, we're, we all got one thing in common we're saying, and that is those who stay silent are complicit in it, complacent in it, and are of it. And one thing I haven't seen as of yet, and if you have seen it, please send me a link to the video Please send me a link to the video because it is possible because YouTube is Google owned that they are suppressing the African American channels that have come out, African American boxing channels that have come out against this mess. But I ain't seen no, no black guy, uh, no African American black guy come out and voice anything against this. The same hell raisers that come out and bitch gripe and cuss and the filth coming out of their mouth and then they turn around have a Bible sitting in the background or the foreground. 
they, they're constantly saying, I'm a Christian uh, half the time. And some ain't. But they got big damn mouths. That's one thing they got, big mouths. And I ain't seen one of them come out yet and vocally and aggressively go against that filth we saw in those Olympics. And it could be that they don't want to piss off LeBron James fans. Uh, yeah, LeBron James fans. Or this Dwayne Wade who come out and said he loved God some years ago, then had a little boy and now is calling the little boy a little girl and right with this sick shit. Where are you? Where's your black ass at now? I defend you guys and defend you guys. Is, is it because that maybe Tank Davis, a self-described Muslim, ain't saying nothing about all this shit? And you can't, you can't be in, in Islam and, and not speak up against this mess. You can't do it. You're a fake Muslim. You're an eight-minute piece of shit or whatever. But you ain't real. And to every athlete, every boxing channel, irrespective of your color, your religion, or your... Or, uh, or anything of it. Shame on you. You stand explicit in this. But I am totally shocked. Totally shocked with the big mouse, boisterous, tough things out of the African American channels that I see on a daily basis that you're really little girls that are sitting back and staying silent in this. And like I'm telling everybody, uh, if you see one, a channel, and, and it's an African American and they are really getting down with it in defense against that shit, that filth in those opening games, please put the link down because I will go over there and say, thank you, sir, thank you, sir, thank you, sir, a million times. I'm sick of it, I, you know, and to my African-American brothers and sisters, because, yeah, the real brother and sister tie that we have is country. We go through the same, a lot of the same hell. I've been thrown in jail uh, over false accusations for a long time. I've had, had a lot of shit happen to me. I see a lot of you guys, you sat back, you whining. I would can't do bust their face being racist. I bust their face being this. Bust this guy's face for that. Uh, having a damn fit over uh, the color of Tank Davis's pocketbook. Why you try to be done act tough, and you ain't tough at all. When it comes to standing up for something really real, you ain't going to do it. You're going to go along with the ball game. You're going to vote for who you're told to vote for. You're going to do what the guy across the street tells you to do. And what the kids down at the ballpark are doing, you're going to be doing. And this is about as simple as that. We have a racist old guy for pointing out. Oh, really? I'm a racist old guy because people from damn near every race on earth has been uh, littering the front of my YouTube and jamming my YouTube alerts because they're so angry about this shit. And they are calling these athletes complicit and evil for staying there in the Olympics 
And they are, all of them, not just the boxers. The rest of them are too. You guys are acting, you guys are antichrist. Because you never seem to have a voice against any debauchery, evilness, sickness, immoralness, known to man. Yeah, just playing victim. Somebody's hurt you. So where are you guys at? I know there's a lot of you out there. I know, I know the majority of my African American brothers and sisters do not like this shit that they saw. But I know, I know another thing. They're too scared to speak up because everybody in in their community, they're scared of what this guy's gonna say, what these liberal pussy ass Democrats gonna say that lives three doors down. Stand the fuck up, because it worries me too, yet I stand. They're in Whiteyville over here too, as I sit. And they're in Latinoville also. There's been more fucking atheist Chinese stand up than African Americans against that filth that took place over there in France. You people are sucking right about now. And I mean it. A damn drop of a pen, you got 5,000 videos going off saying the same thing at one fucking time. And then something major goes on and you all ran off and hidden. You have to really think, how am I going to say I'm a Christian? A real one. Not that, I thank God every day for everything. I, that's bullshit. The real Christian kicks in when you're in defense of your fellow Christians. When, when you are defending against evil and filth in this world. That's when the backbone comes. That's when the heart comes. And where you guys at? So you can call me any damn thing you choose to call me. I, I Right now, by what I'm seeing, and until I see it change, I'm calling all you guys out as weak-minded individuals. Where are you at? Where are you at? It's kind of something to tell to come out as a race. And act like you the toughest guys known to man. I'm street cred. I'm poncho right raw. You don't know what we do down here in the hood. Yeah, I know. You drive by shoot and shit like that. You shoot your own children up. I know a lot. But that ain't too much tough. Not like it used to be. Not when I was a kid. And when I was a kid, everybody we idolized were, almost everybody, the majority of the guys we idolized in football, baseball, and basketball, and boxing were African Americans. Now you look, LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, and I could go on down the damn list of it. And it's a bunch of weak-minded fools that claim they're victim when they got millions and millions of dollars in the bank. And that ain't no damn man. I'm here to tell you that. So where are you guys at? I know that the majority, and I'm not talking about black people. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about African Americans. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the African American boxing community. Just you jackasses. Because I've seen plenty of African American pastors. 
uh, plenty of African American professionals, plenty of African American normal average everyday Joe and James that are speaking against this shit, laying it all out on the line, not giving a damn about who thinks what. And then there's you. And you're getting singled out because you're the only racial or community, you ain't even a racist African American because the Africans are speaking up against this shit. It's just you, uh, African North Americans in the boxing community that are the candy asses and staying silent, and you've stayed silent over most issues. For years, you ain't of Joe Lewis, Sonny Liston, Floyd Patterson, Muhammad Ali, Kenny Norton, Larry Holmes, George Foreman. You ain't a, you ain't uh, you, you ain't in the Cleveland Williams. I could go on and on for a damn hour, naming off heroes, real men, and then there's you guys, and you guys suck right about now.